if the J-20 stealth fighter is so amazing then why is China buying Russia Su-35? Even as China is publicly showing off its new Chengdu J-20 stealth fighter at the Zhuhei Air show for the first time, Beijing is continuing its efforts to acquire advanced Russian fighters. Indeed, while a pair of J-20s garnered the attention of the world's media, the Russian government quietly announced that it has started work on building 24 Sukhoi Su-35 flankery fighters for the Chinese People's Liberation Army Air Force PLARF. China signed a contract for the delivery of two dozen Su-35s in November 2015 worth at least $2 billion. As such, Russia is expected to deliver four Su-35s to the PLAF before the end of the year. The remaining Su-35s are expected to be delivered within the next three years. But given the Kremlin's previous experiences with selling China advanced technology, Moscow has insisted on agreements to secure Russian intellectual property on board the Su-35. In previous years, the Chinese reverse-engineered older versions of the flanker into the Shenai and J-11, J-15 and J-16 series of aircraft. Despite whatever agreement Beijing might have signed with Moscow, the Chinese are almost certainly interested in the Su-35 to harvest its technology. While the current configuration of the J-20 externally resembles a genuine fifth-generation fighter in several respects, China remains woefully lacking in engine and mission systems avionics technology. The Su-35 Saturn AL-41F1S afterburning turbofans, Tikhomirov Nii Bibasi phased array radar and electronic warfare suite are likely of high interest to Beijing. Indeed, China has not perfected its indigenous WS-10 for its flanker clones, let alone come close to finishing development of the next generation WS-15 it would need for the J-20. The WS-15 is currently thought to be in a ground testing phase with flight trials set to begin on an Ilya Shinal 76 sometime in the future. In fact, China has not demonstrated it can build any reliable jet engine and that's including designs that it basically stole from Russia. Indeed, the J-20 currently appears to be powered by twin Russian-built Saturn AL-31F engines found on the Sukhoi Su-27 and its many Chinese knockoffs. The addition of the Russian-built AL-41F1S series engines might provide a solution to Beijing's engine woes. There are indications that the J-20 carries an active electronically scanned array radar, a RESA. Allegedly, the J-20 would be fitted with a Type 1475, also referred to as the KLJ-5 radar, which is supposedly being tested on a China test flight establishment owned Tupolev Tu-204. However, there is no way to confirm that information because the PLAF isn't all that forthcoming about sharing information concerning its developmental projects. However, Russian radar technology is generally believed to be ahead of China's, and it is certainly possible Beijing could glean valuable technical insights from the IBC. Certainly, the J-20 does represent a leap forward for the Chinese defense aerospace industry. One day, China will be able to develop and build its own jet engines as well as create world-class mission systems avionics especially given the investment Beijing continues to make into the defense aerospace sector. However, the day is not today. If the J-20 was really as capable as some would have you believe, Beijing wouldn't bother with buying a token fleet of Su-35s- there would simply be no point in doing so.
Thank you for watching. Please check out my other videos. Please, like, comment, share, and subscribe.